Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks TV News. Mike Schultz back with you once again after taking a week off to take care of some chores, getting ready for winter. Although it rained all the time while I was gone, but oh well, I got a few things accomplished. Starting off with our photograph tonight, Rebecca Schneckenberger from the, the Delta Junction area filing this photograph here. She was near Delta and was able to capture this uh, caribou and that's a big nice rack there on that caribou. Again, as always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to me at uh, photos at ktvf11.com. Here's what's going on at the airport right now. Our high today, 66, right now 64. Low last night, 52. Record high, 82, 1905, down to 28 in 1947. Sunrise and sunset, 16 hours and five minutes of daylight. That's a loss of seven minutes from yesterday. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, you can see all the showers moving through the interior on a good, strong westerly flow, bringing that moisture in across from the Bering Sea. That's going to continue for the next couple days or so, it seems like. And on our close-up with the uh, latest radar, you can see lots of little showers all over the area, but they're starting to diminish a little bit as the daytime heating uh, cools down and the uh, showers don't, uh, don't uh, develop as well as they did this afternoon. Now, tomorrow, though, stick back up there again, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. What's going on across the rest of the state? Uh, for the most part, just cloudy skies over southeast Alaska. Sunshine from Anchorage right on down to Kodiak Island. And then we have rain shower activity over the southwest portion of the state. Cloudy skies around the Nome area. Barrel, 38 degrees and uh, cloudy skies and Fort Yukon, 63. Lower 48 weather heading on down there. It looks like this. Lots of sunshine over the Pacific Northwest. Seattle at 84 degrees. Las Vegas, 99. Thunderstorms rumbling around the Minneapolis area. Partly cloudy skies at Dallas, 92 degrees there. Over the eastern half of the country, the sunshine around New York with 81. And New Orleans, uh, thunderstorm activity, 92. More thunderstorms around the Miami area, also 92. On the satellite and radar, you can see the afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing the daytime heating. Across the Great Lakes, also a little band moving across the central plains. And over the west coast, things look really good as high pressure really dominating the scene there. Later on this week, the jet stream once again will take a little bit of a dip bringing some cooler air across the Pacific Northwest. Hot temperatures continuing over the uh, mainly the central plains and showers over the Northeast. Well, heading on back to Alaska for tomorrow. One quick note to pass along though. Matriba, Kuwait, 123 degrees yesterday afternoon. Hottest temperature in a long time. Okay, now I'm on back to Alaska. Here's what it looks like in northern sections. Cloudy skies at Barrow. Showers expected for Nome and Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at again those scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. Not out of the question also. Over southeast Alaska, mainly uh, cloudy skies with isolated showers in Juneau and Ketchikan. Well, out to the southwest, we're looking at, for the most part, mainly cloudy skies at Cold Bay, Bethel, and also Kodiak Island. And if you're heading on down the Anchorage Bull area, well, not too bad. Partly cloudy skies forecasted for Anchorage and Homer and also at Valdez. And our forecast for the remainder of the night looks like this. It looks like most of the showers have just about ended. 50 degrees, the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast will start all up again, though. We're looking for scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. 69 degrees for the uh, daytime high. And the five-day outlook calling for temperatures to right, be right around 70 degrees, the five-day period there, and off and on isolated showers once again. They'll be tapering off a little bit as we head toward the weekend, though, so the weekend is looking a little bit better. And overnight lows will also be right around the 50-degree mark each night. But